Well hello there everybody peeps, I'm just doing a bit more shopping here at home base. Going to be keeping my voice down a bit because sometimes uh, you get funny looks when you're walking around uh, doing vlogs in supermarkets, well wherever, garden centres, whatever, because people think you're talking to yourself. I mean I would never do that. Uh, anyway, so just going to have a look at these strawberries I'm going to be getting. So uh, take a look, there were some good deals here for the old camera, what's, what loads is flipping in front there. Now look at these look. It's very strange, because you've got some varieties here, look. Three pounds, right? You've got different varieties, Honeyo. Um, these are all Honeyo. Cambridge favourite. Cambridge favourite. El Santa. And these are Honeyo. They're Honeyo. Yeah, so um, now it's three pounds for three plants, and they're small plants, yeah? Come on, that's it. Yeah, three pounds for three plants. But over here, and there's quite small plants, over here you've got five pounds for six decent sized plants. Apart from that one that's dead, that's not a good example. Let's have a look at this one. Here you go, look. Six decent sized plants there. This variety is El Santa for five pounds, so it's less than a pound a plant, and they're good plants, and at the end of the day, you know, some people might think that's dear, but you know, I think, you know, they've been obviously raised, and someone's taken the, their time, you know, to look after these, and or somewhere, wherever they're produced. Nice little flower on that one, look. So I think, actually, five pounds for, you know, six decently, you know, looked after plants is, is good, and it's, it, once again, it's an investment, isn't it? Because you buy these, and you'll get some, fruit off of these eventually and then um, you know give it to uh, give it some time and uh, later in the year they'll produce runners year after year maybe never have to buy strawberries again if you keep that going so they're moist as well they're well looked after so I'm probably going to be uh, purchasing some of those sounds like a, a plan don't you think yeah so over here we've got some blueberries as well and um, I'm not going to be buying any of these you know 18 quid Personally, you know, I wouldn't want to pay that much for a blueberry plant, although I know for a fact that they are hard to raise, ericaceous soil compo compost. I've got no problem with them charging this because, you know, of what it takes to raise a blueberry plant to this size, and anyone that's tried to do it from a cutting will know how difficult it can be. Just for me personally, um, blueberry plants, you know, they will take a while to <clears throat> produce 18 pounds worth of, you know, blueberries where which strawberries these investment wise will pay for themselves relatively quick and you know as I stated once you've got you know some of these then year after year you can just take um, runners and away you go so I'm going to be just keeping it very simple because my, my um, basic sort of principle with gardening now is to keep everything simple so I'm only going to be buying one variety and what I'm going to get is Cambridge favourite right there Let's have a look here, look. Got gooseberries here as well. Raspberries. Currants. Just going to keep abreast of the current situation. <coughs> Meh. Logan breeze. You know. And now, as I stated before, certain home base stores have closed, which I think is a shame because, you know, oh, here you go, let's have a look over here. You know, you can buy ready, ready grown vegetable plants if you want. You know, I mean, this is certainly not, once again, the, definitely not the most cost effective way, in my opinion, of doing it. But if you're a new person to gardening and or you don't want the trouble of raising your own from seed, you know, you could just buy the plants and bung them in, can't you? They've got all sorts down here. Tomatoes, broccoli, pak choy, broccoli, more broccoli, gardener's delight. I really rate this variety, they're great. They are a good variety to grow, they are tasty. Money maker, you know, a pound a plant, and I would, yeah, again, investment wise, very good because you'll get more than a pound's worth of tomatoes off of them if you look after them properly. We've got all these different varieties of black Russian tomatoes. We've got sweet peppers there, baby plum tomatoes there. We've got all sorts going on here. Look, see, really, if you didn't want to grow your own from seed, you could just get involved with 
you know, you could just come down to home base and buy stuff. Already grown. What's this? Little gem lettuce. We all like a bit of that. What's this? Red Baron. Onions. I mean, it's all here, you know, enough to get you going, isn't it? Got to be honest, I am planning on getting a camellia soon. It'll be grown in a container, but that's something that I, I definitely, I'm thinking about, you know, getting one, where to put it, I'm thinking about, and all that jazz. But um, this is something that I'm really getting interested in camellias. I think they truly are beautiful. I mean, all these different, you know, different colour flowers. I've got red, well, pink, purple, whatever it is. You've got, you've got white ones. You've got, so you've got, yeah, you've got pink, white here, sort of purplish whatever all different different sizes as well look camellias here oh. you know really what's this evergreen azaleas you know got some lovely stuff here just think of the love and care and attention that people have put into growing these really is lovely we've got lavender nice little flower basket sections stay all day. Look at these beautiful olives. Lovely, aren't they? I remember eating olive bread. I used to know a, um, I think he was a Cypriot chap that used to give me orange, um, orange, used to give me olive bread. It's tasty. Grasses. Rhubarb. This is a good variety. Used to grow this at the old allotment. You'd have seen it if you uh, remember my old allotment videos. Oh well, back to the old strawberries. So I'm going to get six um, Cambridge favourite plants. I'm only going to get six because quality over quantity. This is my principle. If you like my work, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video. Have a good evening.